Why do things move in certain ways? English mathematician and scientist Isaac Newton figured out the basic laws that govern how objects move. Newton's second law states that objects will accelerate only when an unbalanced force is acting upon it. An object will not accelerate unless a net force is applied. That's why Newton's second law is sometimes called the law of inertia. The unbalanced force will accelerate an object, thereby change its speed or direction, or both its speed and direction. Let's find out more about speed, velocity, and acceleration. Speed is the rate at which an object moves or changes position. To calculate the average speed of an object, divide the distance it travels by the time to travel the distance. Instantaneous speed is the speed of an object at a specific point in time. The car speedometer shows its instantaneous speed at a particular instant in time. The speedometer reading is not an average speed. Speed tells you how fast an object is changing its position, but it does not tell the direction in which the object is moving. Speed is a scalar quantity because it does not include information about the object's direction. Unlike speed, velocity fully describes the motion of an object. To describe an object's motion, you must provide information not only about how fast it is moving, but also in what direction it is headed. Velocity includes both the speed and direction of motion. It is a more complete description of motion than speed alone. A ball flying through the air can be described by both its speed and direction. If you know the velocity of an object, you can determine its exact location and motion at any point in time. A pilot relies on velocity calculations to know exactly where their plane is headed and how fast it is flying. Velocity is a vector quantity. A vector quantity indicates the rate at which an object changes its position. Velocity vectors show how an object is moving. The length of the vector represents the speed and the vector points in the direction the object is moving. A vector quantity is comprised of at least two other vectors, which add to the resultant vector, in this case, the speed and direction of the aircraft. These billiard balls are traveling at the same speed but in different directions, so their velocities are different. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. It describes how the motion of an object is changing. An object can accelerate by changing only its speed, only its direction, or by changing both. Speeding up and slowing down are examples of acceleration. We might refer to slowing down as deceleration, but scientists use acceleration to mean both speeding up and slowing down, so that slowing down is negative acceleration. Keeping speed constant while only changing direction is also acceleration. Average acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. It is calculated as change in velocity divided by change in time, because it includes the vector quantity of velocity. Acceleration is also a vector quantity and includes direction. Remember Newton's second law? An object only accelerates if there is an unbalanced force on it. In practice, this means that the size of the acceleration is proportional to the size of the unbalanced force. This allows to calculate acceleration from the force acting on an object divided by the object's mass. If we know an object's acceleration, then we can calculate its change in speed over a given time period. Newton's laws and equations might seem abstract, but they can be applied to many real-life situations. The laws help scientists understand the motion of objects such as the planets or even asteroids that threaten Earth. Scientists use the laws of motion to send rockets into space and to help design better aircrafts. More down to Earth, scientists must understand speed, velocity, and acceleration to design better cars and other methods of transport, among many other applications.